Green light's about to come on. It's on. Tapes up. We're underway. Terrific stuff and smiles like on the outside. Lebedevs is there. Kupera was in trouble. Very nearly ran in the back of Lebedevs. Kolodzinski is coming round the outside. Kubera now having to ride very forcefully there to block the move from that year. But out in front, the world champion. And look at Kubera coming on strong in third. Yeah, it doesn't look to be too much wrong with Smars. Look as he leads the race out front, looking back for his teammate. He's away back battling with Lebedevs. We know Lebedevs will get the elbows out. He's a tough cookie. He's a hard man to overtake. And at the moment, Kubera is only really just looking around the inside. Six points on the cards right now for Team Poland. Bartosz Smarslik away out in front, looking terrific. Lebedev, a thorn in the side for Poland this time, but Lebedev is a top-class rider. Kubera doing all he can. Lebedev just lifting momentarily there. One last blast around the final corner. Smarslik comfortable, looking great out in front. Nothing wrong with him, is there? Lebedev's solid in second place for Latvia. Which way is it going to go? Tapes are up. We're on the way to the first corner. Great start by Mickelson. He's got round the first corner. It comes Anders Thompson now. Pat, oh my goodness. Oh, Dan Bewley nearly getting off the back of the bike there. Robert Lambert has forced his way through in the second place. Almost forcing himself to the front. Oh, that's tight! Look at Robert Lambert charging on the inside! Fantastic ride from Robert Lambert to get the better of Anders Thompson. Super racing from Robert Lambert. Just did what he had to do. Kept the wheels in line just until he'd got his nose in front. He certainly took Anders Thompson as far as he could, but it was a fair move. Gets out in front, showing a great turn of speed, but unfortunately for Team GB, Dan Bewley at the back. Bewley struggling there in his first couple of outings. What a stunning, forceful move that was from Robert Lambert, the captain of Great Britain. Riding out in front, looking a million dollars. Anders Thompson literally, well, beaten up there. Had to take it. But Denmark come through there. They only got two points in their first outings, but they get a heat advantage in that one. Here we go. Heat number eight, Germany against the host, Great Britain. Here we go now, long pause, tapes are up. We roar into the first corner, it's Hukenbeck who dives up there into the middle of the back. Bewley, what a turn back from Dan Bewley. And Robert Lambert now, coming up the inside. Team Great Britain hit the front for the first time as a pair. And they're going to the second lap, and Dan Bewley has got his act together this time. Uh, the GB fans in the stands woke up then as uh, both Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert made their way past Kai Hookerback. Got to say, Robert Lambert did good. His momentum got stopped when Dan Bewley came through. He just momentarily had to get off the throttle, but he soon got it back on up the inside of Kai Hookerback. Seven points. This would be massive for Team GB. What the doctor ordered for Team Great Britain. What we've come to expect to see from Dan Bewley. Such an eye-catching rider. And Robert Lambert and Dan Bewley are absolutely flying here in heat number eight. They've combined beautifully. Strong move coming out of turn two in the opening lap. Seven massive points for Team Great Britain. That's a big move for them. They had eight coming into their third outing, heat number eight. To show you what uh, Bartosz Smarslik was getting up to here after that exclusion. Yeah, he's, he's clearly showing the movement on the outside of Mekai Hockenberg. The referee makes the decision. The referee's never going to change that decision. First one, touch, and second one. And this is you can speak to the ref. But mate, this is not... We'll put you on the ref now after this race, OK? You can speak okay. to the ref, Everyone put him on to the ref. So you're... Well, it was awfully close. The, the I, I did wonder it. whether Hukenbeck had touched the tape, so it's difficult to see I, I from the angle we had. The referee makes the decision. Clearly, uh, Bartosz Smarslik, very after disappointed the with the outcome the there. These things happen. Of course, that was the rerun when Kubera hits the front. We see it actually happening in real time. Extraordinarily difficult to see whether Hukenbeck does touch them, but uh, clearly the, the Polish team and then Bartosz Marsling in particular are convinced. Heat number eight, 
number 12. Denmark up against 11. Oh, what a start from Mercy Jensen. He's fired out of gate number one. Mickelson coming across from gate three. They're in charge through the first corner, but Mickelson's gone very wide there. He's allowed, he's allowed uh, Kolodinskis to come nicely up the inside. Mickelson in that deep stuff around the outside. Tell you what, Kolodinskis has nearly got himself to the front. How about this? Rasmus Jensen now being relegated to second place. What a ride from Kolodinskis. I tell you what, Jens Redson will not like that. He will be blasting up the inside. Kolodinskis is having the race of his life in a Speedway of Nations race against Denmark. This is absolutely fabulous stuff. Meanwhile, at the back, Mickelson just doesn't look comfortable, doesn't know where to ride, doesn't seem to have the speed. Kolodinskis out in front, back in this race. What a master stroke from Vladimir Rybnikov, the team manager of Latvia. Rasmus Jensen trying everything he knows back in second place. He's got one last chance now. Round turns three and four. And Kolodinskis, what a ride for Latvia! Denmark have got five points for second and third, but they will be desperately disappointed not to have taken advances there. Germany up against Latvia. Can Germany do the business once again? Tape to Rutt. Ladorn's made a lovely start on the inside. Hukumbeck is there as well. Kolodinskis is in the thick of the action. Here comes Lebedevs as well. Kolodinskis, look at that! Oh, Lavia have got either side of Ladorn. And they fire themselves to the front. What a turnaround that is! Can Germany respond? They're going to need to. Hukumbeck's gone wide. But Lavia around in front. I love Lavia. The way they battle through the semi final, the way they're battling tonight is absolutely superb, and Germany, they had such an opportunity to go back to the top of the pile, they're not going to do it, but here comes Huckenbeck. Huckenbeck working hard around the outside, but right now, Lebedevs and Kolodinskis holding firm, Huckenbeck trying awfully hard, winding it up, can he get there? Not quite yet, he's going an awfully long way. Finally down the back straight, Huckenbeck fires himself round the outside, the run to the line! Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Not quite, not quite. It's still a massive result for Latvia, it's a blow for Germany. Australia up against Poland. Green lights on, long, long pause. Got to say, Kabir has got to wait big time there, but Smarzik's out the back. Right now, neither of this is any good, really. Certainly not good enough for Poland. This will help Sweden right now. Australia coming on strong, coming out of turn number four to complete the lap. Smarzik now coming up the inside. Jack Holder slams the door shut. Oh, Kurtz is with it. What on earth is going on? Oh, my oh look at the Australians. Now Australia have hit the front. Here we go again. Jack, oh, how proud, how brave was Kurtz there? Smarzik couldn't believe that Kurtz came round the outside of him. And I tell you what, the world champions, Australia have hit the front. Smartly coming back at him. Oh, you've got to say, if Australia collects seven points here, they will deserve their place in the final. What a ride from these two guys. Outstanding stuff. The Poles have absolutely no answer. Here we go. Australia. They're in the final. What a moment for them. They came here to retain their championship. They slipped up a little bit in the semi-final and Jack Holder came off. Difficult night. Long. Here we go. What a moment for both countries. Lambert's made a good start. Tall sells right alongside him. Beauty chopping back to the inside. Britain hit the front. Coming out of turn two. Here comes Lingren around the outside. Now he's going around the outside of Robert Lambert. Lambert having to look over his shoulder. Tries to block him. Lingren's got to the front. But second and third's enough. Second and third's enough. Can Torsell do anything about Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert? Yeah, Torsell's getting dropped. Lambert done just the right thing. He realised that if he tried to move over too far when Freddie Lingram was coming through with the speed that he had, that could end in a crash, that could end in an exclusion. But I tell you what, he's got to be careful because Torsell's not that far away. Freddie Lingren out in front, looking for his teammate, but he can't do much there. Lambert and Bewley locked together. Five points will beat the win of Freddie Lingren. And it's looking like Great Britain are going to go through to the grand final tonight. Freddie Lingren, he wins the race. But Lambert and Bewley 
are going to join Australia in the grand final. Rerun. A rerun of two years ago. Can they turn it around? Sweden, many congratulations to them. They pick up the bronze medal. And Brady Kurtz, not in the Grand Prix, but has ridden like a superstar tonight. Here we go, for the final time, in the grand final here in Manchester. What a moment it is. Green Knight is on, tapes her up. Away we go. Lambert's made the start. Jack Holder looks over his shoulder, comes to Lambert up the inside. Beauty's come through the third place. Brady Kurtz is out the back. Lambert's in front. Beauty's gone very wide indeed. Coming out of turn number four. Jack Holder looking around. Can Kurtz do anything about Beauty? Kurtz around the outside. Jack Holder holding Beauty back. But it's at the moment, it's a 6-3 on the cards. Oh, this oh. has made it difficult for Beauty. He's gone to the back. He's got to run up the inside. Oh, he's going to pass the boat. What a move from Dan Beauty. Beauty now coming through. Great Britain looking for revenge here. Turning the tables on Australia. What a moment that is. Can Australia respond? Robert Lambert, who's been superb all night, looking great in the grand final. Beauty hanging on. They are charging hard behind him. One last quarter. And Great Britain are world champions in 2024. The Speedway of Nations world champions here in Manchester tonight. What a moment for them. What a ride, Dan Beauty. I mean, Robert Lambert out front, he has been exceptional all night. Dan Beauty was under so much pressure. Jack Holder was in his way, riding where Dan Beauty wanted to be, allowed Kurtz up the inside, and then he passes them both. What a moment for Team GB. Crowd on their feet. They won in 2021. They've done it again in 2024. Australia have played their part. The world champions are beaten. The new world champions of Great Britain with Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert. They've been outstanding. Robert Lambert, the rider of the night, no doubt about it. He has been superb. Kurtz has been terrific, so has Jack Holder. Celebration time for Team GB. They have one goal. Yeah, they will be celebrating long into the night, I'm sure. It's been a long, hard week for all the teams. This is the only meeting they've competed in. Took a couple of races to get the best out of them, but look what it means to Robert Lambert. He has been number one man tonight.